Hey family, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make the creamiest, tastiest mashed potatoes, but this time we're making it Ninja style. <laughs> I already have all of my ingredients prepped and ready to go. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked what you watched. All right, let's get right into this mashed potatoes making action. So first things first, we're going to start by peeling the potatoes. I'm using some Irish potatoes, but you can use the sweet potatoes as well. I find that they work magic too. And then to peel the potatoes, you have the option of either using a knife or a vegetable peeler. The vegetable peeler does the work in a snap, so I'm gonna be using this one. So the potatoes are all peeled right now. What I'm gonna do next is go ahead and cut them into half or quarters depending on the size of the potatoes. And then as you cut, put them into cold water to help extract some of the starch from the potatoes, okay? So now that we have the potatoes all cut up into bite-sized pieces, it's time to cook it. Now, usually the traditional method of making mashed potatoes just requires you to just boil this up in some garlic and some salt. But to make it ninja style, there is layers to the process, and I'm gonna show you what I mean now. In Nigeria, we like our food really spicy, like let it have some spice and some flavor to it. So I'm gonna be using some, some of my favorite seasonings to season up and flavor up the potatoes before we proceed to mash in it. Let me show you what I mean. So first things first, some power oil, pure vegetable oil. So just a little drizzle of that, allow that to heat up slightly. Next up, I'm adding some diced onions. Just stir fry that for a few seconds. Then I'm also going to add the garlic and the atarodo because we like our food very hot and spicy. I'll mix that together to combine. At this point, I'm also going to throw in some garlic powder, seasoning powder, my famous all-purpose seasoning. I'm adding a little bit of black pepper and a sprinkle of salt. I'll drizzle a little more oil just to help fry up the spices a lot better. Stir, stir, stir to combine. The aroma here is heavenly. <laughs> so we just mix this for one minute just to wake up the spices. So it's time to throw in the Irish potatoes into the pot. I would also throw in all of the water so I'll just give this a quick mix together just to combine everything up. So I'll just cover this up. It's looking nice already. Bring this to a rolling boil. Then reduce the heat to the lowest and allow it to simmer gently for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes are fork tender. And then we proceed to mashing this up. So there's a million ways to mash up your potatoes. The most prominent way is using a potato masher, which everyone knows to use. But the other ways are using a hand mixer, if you have one, or a food processor. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the hand mixer and the food processor in this video, just so that you can see what the consistency of both are. And I find that my favorite method is using the food processor because I actually usually would always get the very, the smoothest, creamiest consistency. So let's do this, okay? Before we continue with the video, we have some products and services on our website that you may be interested in. The first one being my new cookbook, Winnie Sizzling Selections, which has over a hundred recipes that you can choose from. It's the only cookbook that you've literally been needing this year. So hurry now to the website and order a copy for yourself. We also have our meal plan collection that has different meal plans, like the low carb meal plan, the weight loss meal plan, the weight gain meal plan, the detox meal plan, and the plant-based meal plan as well. And then we also have our aprons and our smoothies the ebook which has over 30 smoothie recipes and our healthy snack ebook as well which has over 25 healthy snack recipes we have a range of products and you definitely want to check out the products on our website and guess what family we're currently running a discount on all the products on the website so now would be a good time to go and order a thing a two or three <laughs> All right, let's go back into the video. So for the hand mixing method, I'm just going to scoop some of the potatoes into the bowl. And then afterwards, I'll grab the hand mixer and just... Working. 
Now you don't want to over mesh this. Once it is all completely meshed up at first, just stop mixing. You can see how meshed up the potatoes are just by using the hand mixer. Now if you want this extra, extra creamy, which is my ideal preference, what I'm going to do now is just go in with some butter and I'm also going to throw in just a little bit of full cream milk. The full cream milk makes it so much creamy and velvety and silky in texture. So I'll go in with the hand mixer again and just mix for a couple of seconds. And that's all the mixing I'm doing for this. I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl. You can see how silky smooth and very velvety the Irish potato mash looks like. This is exactly the consistency that you're looking for. So if you have a hand mixer, it helps you do the work perfectly. For the food processor method, it's pretty much the same thing. Just grab your food processor and transfer the hot Irish potatoes into the food processor. Remember to drain the water because you don't want any liquid in your mashed potatoes. So after 15 seconds of blending this with the food processor, this is what you get. It's already silky smooth and it's just really nice. But to make this creamy and buttery and nicer, I'm going to throw in a little tiny bit of milk at this point. And I'm also going to add some butter as well. Then I'll cover this up again and give it another mix for another 15 seconds. So this is the consistency with the food processor and this is the consistency with the hand mixer. Let me just use the back of a spoon to show you what the consistency looks like. I hope you guys can see it. So this is the one with, with the food processor and this is the one with the hand mixer. Fairly the same consistency but the one with the food processor is a lot smoother. So to serve this up on a plate, just grab some of your mashed potatoes like so and just place it at the center of your bowl and then make a well. This is one serving. Then just grab any protein of your choice and place at the center. I like to enjoy this with some proteins and veggies, but I only have proteins today. And then finally, I'm adding a gravy to the top just to help make this extra, extra mushy. Usually I would add vegetables, but I don't have any vegetables, so this will do for today. How gorgeous is this? And now it's my favorite part of the entire process, the taste test. This smells absolutely amazing, looks divine. Definitely something that I would make for lunch or dinner. Let's taste this. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm, this one is no joke, guys. The way this mashed potatoes just melts in the mouth. Oh, ciao! It hits all the right spots. Oh! <laughs> A girl is speechless. I can't help it. <laughs> Damn, this tastes so amazing. Mm. It's just the right texture. It's creamy, and then, guess what? It has that ninja juice to it. 
it's flavorful and it's spicy as well. So there you have it guys, mashed potatoes Naija style. My job here is done. I'll see you next time with another mouthwatering video. Until then, take care guys. <laughs>